Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorry again. Welcome back to our free to play account in Last on Earth Survival. So today we're gonna progress a little bit further through our acts because I've just barely scratched the surface in Act 2. I've just unlocked it. And to progress further, we need to finish building the headquarters. But to do that, we need to get an antenna. And there are also some other things that we need besides the antenna. We also need to get one hammer because I still don't have it. And I think I need to get some more transistors. So let's worry about the hammer a little bit later. It should be kind of easy to get it inside of Bunker Alpha. But now let's go to this abandoned factory. I brought here some weapons. I brought here some melee weapons. Hopefully that will be enough for this abandoned factory. And I also feel like rewards are going to be kind of nice because for each mission you get here some decent rewards. And once you complete like 10 or something missions, you do get lots of rewards. So why not get more rewards? Okay, so to activate this thing, we need transistors. And I did not bring any because I don't even have enough transistors for the headquarters. So hopefully I don't need that stuff. Maybe we will find some transistors here. I think sometimes you can get them. Not very often, but sometimes that happens. Oh, wow. I could not sneak behind that toxic spit that's fine though we still have a katana okay so we have a few enemies over there and i'm sure that to activate this forklift we need a few more transistors dude if we won't get any transistors i think we can get more of them inside of the motel i rarely go there but i think we might need to go to the motel again transistors are kind of common it's not like they're very rare resources. There isn't a transistor factory, but they are kind of common we can go to a green zone We can open up a few chests. So they're not that big of an issue We will get them and there is a chest go on. Maybe we will find something nice here a few transistors perhaps Yes, we have gotten one only one single transistor whatever You know what for now I'll take everything besides that water because we really don't need more water to open this thing up We need three transistors Okay, that's not cool. That is not too cool. And I don't remember what kind of a burglar perk we got. Can I open up this chest? Probably not. Well, we will see. This place also had has deer. Did you see? That deer just hit the wall and died. Excuse me, I don't think I've ever seen that. I've played this game for six years and I've never seen deers die that way. Unless I attacked it by accident and that's how it died. Probably that's what happened. Can I open it up? Nope, burglar skill level 2 required, and I still do not have it. Let's deal with a few enemies around this place. At the same time, we are going to get some more experience. Because I get that question very often. The best way to level up is obviously by killing zombies. You can kill them inside of Bunker Alpha or like wherever. We also need to get this Bruiser perk. I think I mentioned this already a couple of times, but if you want to increase your chances of getting a particular perk, like let's say a burglar perk, try to max out one skill first because that way this skill is going to disappear from the pool of other skills. So other skills will have to take its place. So that's why I want to max out the Bruiser here. And even besides that, Bruiser is actually a really, really nice perk. So let's get it. Now we have max health here. We have 120 health at level what? At level 50. That is pretty good. Wait, I think I'll be able to sneak attack that zombie over there. And I also believe we have a sublate. Oh, no, I did not get the sublate mace. I thought I did. I left it at the base. Well, whatever. And let's get perhaps another weapon. This bat. Yeah, it should be fine. Maybe should have saved this bat for Bunker Alpha because it's a lot easier to wall trick in Bunker Alpha with these kind of weapons. As These weapons aren't really that great, but whatever. Who cares? Let's get perhaps some of these pieces of cloth. And I should be able to craft some more bandages with those pieces of cloth. Let's also not forget... Oh, these are wild turkeys. I thought that's another deer. Uh, they're all right. They're too expensive to cook. It takes a lot of charcoal to cook that stuff. So I don't know if we'll do it. Whatever, we have gotten a few more pieces of cloth. So let's craft another bandage. And hey, let's open up this door over here. There will be some more zombies. So how about I get a better melee weapon? Should have probably taken this broken one. Oh, wow. I should have avoided that spit. My bad. At least we still don't stink. Can we activate this? Please tell me we don't need any. Oh, no. We need some more transistors. There's nothing we can do without them. Okay, let's open this up. There we go. Another door is open. Can we wall trick this guy? Actually, it'll be a door trick. Oh, yes. We can absolutely door trick this dude. Okay, this is great. This is amazing. We will save like three healing items or something. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, there we go. Let's do a few more attacks and more pieces of cloth. Let's activate this valve. Can I open the door? Nope, we cannot go through here. So in order to enter this place, we will require to get some transistors. But I need them myself. Okay, we do have 12 transistors in the inbox. <laughs> this is nice. They're going to save our lives. There you go. Let's get them. Let's absolutely get those transistors. I just want to get my antenna and that's it. I want to save as many of those transistors as possible. So let's open this up. Can I open up the door? Nope, it's still locked from the inside. So I obviously can't open that up. So we need to activate this other thing now okay so we won't be able to enter it so we have to activate this okay whatever let's add that and there we go the gates open that is it now finally everything is open 
Let's deal with these fast biters, and hopefully I still have enough weapons to get that antenna. And also, I don't even think that antenna is guaranteed, so if I don't get it today, I'll be very angry. And the last thing I want to be is angry. I want to get my antenna. I want to finish the headquarters today. Is that too much to ask? Okay, so we have to turn on the lights first. Let's open up the door. Let's go over here. I'll probably just aggro a few of those zombies. There we go. We could maybe wall trick them over here-ish. No, that's not gonna work. We could have probably wall trick them on this. Oh no, there we go. That's gonna be the door trick. There we go. That works. That works. As long as it works, it's kind of hard. Like this is one of the more difficult wall tricks you can do because you can't see what's going on. And I'm not saying that it's extremely difficult, but I'm just saying, you don't see what's going on here. So it is pretty difficult. Okay, let's get this. It's always easier to see things than not see anything. Okay, let's get here a few bandages. And I think I want to go through over here. Wait, we need to deal now with more zombies in this room. Also, as you saw in the inventory, I did bring a Glock. Even though I'm pretty sure you can clear this place without a Glock. But I always keep repeating that. No matter if you are a free-to-play player or not, you have to bring a Glock with you to, like, whatever location you go. Because you never know what's going to happen. Like, some things might go south. You might, like, look the other way. Like, something might happen. And, uh, yeah, wait. Let's also drink some of that berry tea. I've heard that berry tea makes you pee less. You don't have to pee as often. Maybe. I don't know. I've never tried that myself. Okay, now we can open up this chest. Go on, please, some more maybe transistors, something. Like, whatever. Duct tape. It's literally duct tape. <laughs> Nothing else. Just got some duct tape. Well, that's it. We have looted everything there. Let's open this up. And let's perhaps activate this. Whatever. I'm going to activate another switchboard. We won't have enough transistors. As I said, we'll go to the motel. Maybe I'll auto clear like a location or two. Because we still have a few ready meals. Another transistor. More bandages. Duct tape. Whatever. Better than nothing. Let's now hop down there. That is that's going to be the main place of this abandoned factory. I'm ready. I have my Glocks. And go on, please, please give me that antenna. If I don't get it today, I will be a little bit angry. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Okay, so this thing will have zombies. There. Maybe I should get a Glock. You know what? Let's get a better machete. For now, I don't trust it. Because things will be happening here. Wait, I want to eat some food. Can't yeah. deactivate this. I can activate this. There we go. The electricity is off. Dude, I've been here a few times and I never remember what I am supposed to do here. Whatever, I don't want to use a lot of bandages in this place. Let's open it up. Okay, let's try to avoid all those spits. And let's turn off the gas. There we go. We avoided that spit from the toxic spitter. The best way to avoid those spits is that every attack, just switch your position this way. It'll be a lot easier for you to switch it. As if you keep attacking it, you won't have enough time to turn around. You have to pre-dodge that spit. Okay, that's it. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. The gas is off here. This is nice. Let's heal up here again. Let's probably get this broke and machete as we need some space and hey we can probably start wall tricking some of these zombies here to save up a few first aid kits and a little bit of armor and you know what let's use this weapon because it is kind of broken anyways we might as well just get some more space in our inventory and these guys weren't even doing that much damage so shouldn't have been even worried about those wall tricks in the first place Okay, I'll go a little bit. Oh, no, we need to turn off the electricity first before we open up that chest. I was already ready to grab that chest. Can I oh, turn it off? Yes, indeed. I think now we should be able to open up this chest. Go on. What do we get here? I see loot differently when we play here with this free-to-play account because on our main account, we've been playing there for like six years. So we already have a lot of random resources that I don't need to pick up anymore. But here, like, for example, getting bandages, bolts, duct tape, whatever else here. I'll get it. Besides water, we already have like, what, 20 bottles at the base. Like, we don't really need that much water. Can't do anything with this valve. I'm ready, probably. Let's open this thing up. And how about we fight this dude perhaps here? There we go. Let's just lure them to this door. And let's wall trick this schmuck once again. So this was a pretty efficient way to clear the abandoned factory. Because we still haven't used a single shot. Whatever, I'm just gonna fist punch this floater bloater. Yeah, we haven't used a single shot from our Glock, but as I said, it's always nice to get it because, like, maybe you'll open up a room. Maybe you'll make a mistake and a bunch of zombies will start attacking you, so it's always nice to be ready. Okay, there's a fast biter. Hello, fast biter. Bam! With a pipe over the head. Nothing. And there's also a generator here. We're gonna drop it here to activate the door. And I think this is the room. Please, the antenna. Please, 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 please. Yes, we got it. That's what I wanted. You don't always get it. I think it is very common, but you don't always get it. I've seen people not get it. I have not gotten it myself, I think. So it is possible to not get it. It is not guaranteed. Even though it might feel like it's guaranteed because maybe you've cleared this place five, six times, maybe seven times, and you kept getting those antennas. And I've gotten a few comments from you guys saying that you haven't gotten those antennas constantly, so... 
there's that. Okay, so now our next goal is to get another hammer because we got everything there is to get. We have probably five more transistors. So that's good. We got more of them. As I said, we can still auto clear some stuff. We just need to get a hammer. Unless we have a hammer in our inbox because we had some ready meals. We have auto cleared some green zones, but hammers would be in weapons and we got no hammers here. Hmm. Whatever. I think we should be able to open up one more chest here. Let's see what this chest has to offer. Is it any good? Okay, more transistors. Some more random items. Okay, I will take them. Okay, I will take that yellow coupon instead of that raw turkey. And that is it. I don't think there's anything else we need to get from this place. We could open this forklift up, but it requires three transistors. And I don't know if I have enough. That's like the biggest problem. We will get more transistors. Like, we still don't have the thing. Whatever, I'm fixing it. <laughs> I am fixing it. I still need more transistors. I think I needed five of them. Now I'll need two more. We've gotten a road sign. Was it worth it? Maybe. Okay, let's find some space for the road sign. I mean, we don't need that duct tape, whatever. We could come back here, but energy is not infinite. So let's get whatever we have here. And we have gotten here a rest up event. Wish we could go there because that event is amazing. Well, one day perhaps we will assemble our chopper. What we need to do is clear more bunker alphas. So we are back in the settlement and now let's drop some of the resources that we got here. Let's fill up with everything. So we need four more transistors. We need a stack of iron bars, thick cloth and nails, and obviously a hammer that I still don't have. Oh, we have five more transistors here. Okay, so we will have enough transistors. We just don't have any hammers now. Actually, I'm an idiot. We do have a hammer here. Whoa, I didn't know that we had those hammers inside of the small box. I thought I'd double, triple check the box. And well, apparently we have it. Whoa, so we have everything. Ladies and gents, let's just get ready. I think we brought everything we need unless I have a memory of a chicken. Let's fill all that stuff up. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's finally finish our headquarters in this free-to-play account. We did it. We have finished them. So reinforce the settlement. First of all, we have to talk to Connor. The headquarters is ready. We need to contact the guys quickly. Oh, wait. Have we unlocked the expeditions? No, I don't think so. Uh, let's see how the connection works. I'm actually interested. When do we unlock them? Over, do you copy? It's all static. Looks like they're far away. Uh, are those gunshots? Oh, something's going on. Something's going on. Okay, bunch of zombies. So I'll do my best here to save my items. I don't need to go and fight them here myself. Go and do the work here. Well, I'm chilling. That's it. I'll stay with Rachel and you finish off the rest of the bastards. That's not what I want to do. I did not sign up for that. Okay, whatever. Let's then deal with these floater bloaters. You will rarely see floater bloaters walk like that. I think this is the first time I've seen a floater bloater walk this slowly. Whatever. Let's deal with the rest of these enemies. We will get some more experience. Plus, we will progress a little bit further through our season pass. And now I'm interested. When do we unlock those expeditions? Because they might be useful. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so these guys, for some reason, are not even attacking me. I mean, maybe they glitched a bit. But you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. Because expeditions for mid-level... I don't know. Expeditions are fine-ish. I don't know. Like, I'm still trying to make up my mind on these expeditions. They could have been a lot better, in my opinion. They're not perfect, but I still want to know what kind of loot we can get here. Oh, no, there's the crusher. Bruh. Okay, at least the crusher does only six damage, so it's easy. As long as he doesn't do that huge punch. Oh, even that huge punch did only 11 damage. And then we will see what's going on in that act here. That's why I love these acts. We definitely need to get more acts in the game here, as if you are a new player, these acts are amazing. It's a nice way to start the game. The game just basically shows you what to do. And uh, yeah, I'm loving it. And obviously to start the expeditions, I'm an idiot. We need to assemble the minivan and that thing is going to take us. It's not that expensive. We just need a little bit of glass, like a few spark plugs from the gas station and that's it. Like a few truck wheels and that is it. I don't even know where we can get those truck wheels. I think we can maybe get them from the highway as well. Maybe that is it. I think we did it. Or maybe there are some more zombies. Yeah, probably there are some more schmucks. Okay, let's deal with them. So you have to unlock the expeditions. It's going to be pretty tough. It'll take quite a while. And uh, yeah, there are more zombies. Hello, schmucks. Okay, toxic spitters. Once again, I don't want to stay here in one spot. I'll just keep running around. Got him, nothing else. Whatever, I'm just going to pick up probably everything just so that we don't have any garbage here in... The settlement. Hello, these zombies came out of nowhere, but hey, we got him. Now we have to talk to Connor. Wait, before we talk to him, we have probably some rewards to get for the third mission. There we go. Let's claim that. And Connor gets so caught up in fighting a signal from his friends that he totally forgot about safety. I have to protect the settlement on my own. I think I should probably calm down because I don't want to protect anything here on my own. I don't even know if I want this settlement in the first place. Let's be honest here. Are they gone? Seems they've been attracted by the noise of the work. Wait a minute. What is that noise? 
I know some deers. Come back here. I think we could have probably gotten some more of them. Okay, I'm done with this. It's not a cattle yard. Uh, I'm sure there are lots of parts at the farm. Go look for them and I'll stay with Rachel. Okay, so we have to go to the farm to reinforce the settlement. Okay, so we will have to start building the wall here. And to build the wall, we need 10 of these iron wires. Okay, fair enough. Well, if the story wants me to go to the farm, so let's head out to the farm. I'm not even sure if I have repaired the bridge. Okay, so we have repaired the bridge here. Okay, so let's start searching for that iron wire. Okay, here we found some bandages. Okay, let's get that. And hey, let's clear this place. It did bring some weapons. That is awesome. I'm gonna save that machete for when we have more zombies attacking us. So let's try to clear this farm location basically as efficiently as possible. Because hey, we don't have here a lot of resources. This is still a pretty new account. So I kind of want to be careful. Okay, so there will be this dude, this savage giant. Let's try to get it. As always, I also brought here a Glock. I always need a Glock here. I'm not leaving the base with that one. So there we go. This is a pretty nice way to deal with this savage giant. We don't have to kill all these savage giants because at the very end, we'll be able to just lure them around. But, oh no, oh no, oh no, I did get hit once. Yikes. But yeah, we can still lure all of those other zombies around this place, but we're not going to be able to lure the rotten yokels as they're not that slow as savage giants. As I said, we can avoid the savage giants, but we cannot avoid these other smucks. So there is that. Hey, there's somebody walking. That's got to be a raider. That's why I brought a Glock here. I'm going to deal with them with just this Glock. Again, you maybe don't have to use it. You can just bring something else. You can maybe even try to wall trick them. I don't know. doesn't matter. I brought a Glock. And I'm gonna deal with them with a the Glock here. Let's get like whatever thing here. It doesn't matter. Let's get this careful thing. All of them were kind of meh perks at best. Okay, there will be more enemies. Understandable. Let's get the shovel and let's deal with these right yokels. Plus this armor is about to break, but it did bring another armor. And probably that other armor is gonna break as well. So that's not cool. Okay, so we did get here some random resources, like a little bit of leather. Which is gonna be fine. It'll help us craft some more crowbars. Okay, and this place is gonna be just filled with those zombies. And we have to kill all of them. So that's why I brought here a Glock. Uh, we could probably avoid that stuff. But as I said, I want to deal with them. There are those diseased wolfos. And I would rather use my weapons than my healing items. As we can get guns from Bunker Alpha, but getting... Other things, it's pretty tough. Okay, so there are those two savage giants attacking us. Let's just leave this place. And hey, once you re-enter this location, savage giants should go back to their original spawn place. So as I said, we don't have to kill them. You could probably wall trick them if you want experience and other stuff. But as I said, I'll probably try to avoid them. Let's go. Wait, I haven't looted that body. Maybe we'll loot it later after that bull disappears. There is a savage giant there though. And there is no blue box there. Whatever, I'm not going to loot that sack. We can loot it at the end if we want to. But I won't bother about it. Let's loot this body real quick. Let's get some more pieces of cloth. And that is it. We need to get ready for the Revenger. Some people call it Ravager. I like to call it Revenger, okay? We could avoid the Savage Giant, but I just want to deal with it. This way, the path is going to be clear. So I will lure that Savage Giant all the way to this spot. Let's get a shovel. And let's deal with this guy. So we are running low here on resources, on weapons. And this guy didn't even drop us anything. Not even five pieces of cloth. That would have been amazing. Okay, let's see if we got anything over here. Hopefully we don't have any more of those huge piles. Oh, no, there's another pile of those enemies. We have to deal with them right now. Otherwise, once we open up that box, all those zombies will attack us. And there will be too many of those wolves and we will lose even more health. So it is just better to, to deal with all those piles of zombies while we can. Okay, let's go that way. Okay, we could maybe try to wall trick some of them, but hey, will that even work? I doubt it. Okay, let's heal up. I said, that's why I brought the Glock here. You don't always get that many piles of those zombies. Sometimes it is easier. Sometimes there are less zombies in one spot, but you should deal with them. And there we go, just re-enter this place once again to reset those savage giants. My boots are broken. Let's delete them. There we go, Ravager is coming, okay? Hello? Instead of aggroed it, don't run away from it as it will start spitting. So we should be able to deal with this Ravager kind of easily. Again, we don't need to use this machete. We can just use a pipe because I think machete is a bit better. Not I think, I'm sure. Like, it's a known fact. Machete is better. Okay, I'll just run around now for the first spit and that is it. All we have to do now is just rinse and repeat. Just keep running around, be careful, and you should be able to do it. Okay, there we go. We have a few more attacks left. And there we go, we have dealt with this Ravager. So we can get this stuff and that stuff. And that is it, nothing else. We've just gotten some pieces of cloth, as I said. Let's craft now a few bandages with that stuff. And we still haven't found the blue box. So the blue box 
can be in some other spots. It could be like down there. That's where the blue box is going to be. That's literally only one more spot left. And the blue box is going to be there. But hey, luckily we have dealt with the majority of these basic zombies already. So once we start opening up that blue crate, not a lot of those zombies will attack us. So everything's going to be almost perfect. Another rotten yokel dead. Do we have any pieces of cloth? Nope, just some rope. We should maybe pick up that rope so that it, there is less clutter here. Okay, let's aggro this rotten yokel. Can we go on... Can't even activate the self-healing yet. And I'm almost out of melee weapons. There we go, I've just activated the self-healing, ladies and gentlemen! The self-healing! It worked! I have healed up. I have healed up a little bit. I have saved like a bandage, maybe two bandages. That's good. That is always good. Okay, there's another savage giant. Oh, uh, we could lure it all the way down there. I'll probably get hit in the face with this shovel. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit in the face. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Whatever, let's lure that savage giant. Let's try to wall trick it. So yeah, the farm location is a little bit expensive. You won't really get profit from weapons and guns as this place doesn't give a lot of guns and weapons. But this place gives other things. And sometimes you will get lucky. Sometimes there will be less zombies cluttered in one spot. So you will be able to sneak attack more of those basic zombies when they are not in those clutters. Wait, maybe we can actually break apart that clutter by aggroing those zombies and then leaving the location. I never tried doing that. Maybe that's also doable. Wait, I never tried doing that. I really want to try that out now. Maybe I just really should have broken apart those things. Let's also get a Glock here when you open this stuff up. Sometimes you'll get cornered here either by raiders or by some random savage giants. So it's always nice to have a weapon. We have gotten here some iron wires. That is lovely. Now let's open this thing up. Oh no, should not have done that. Will I be able to fist punch this dude? Probably not. Let's get a Glock because I got nothing else. And let's get some more melee weapons if we have any. Oh, while wow, we're almost out of melee weapons, only have a cleaver? And that's it, I have a cleaver and this broken Glock? That's all we got? Whatever, let's try to wall trick the Savage Giant. Wait, can I wall trick it over here? Nope, it ain't gonna work, just hit. Got hit in the face. We can wall trick it here though. I wall tricked it here many times. Oh no, it's gonna be harder to wall trick it with the cleaver. We have to let it come a little bit closer. There we go, just like that. So I actually never tried breaking apart those clumps of zombies. Maybe I could aggro them and leave the map. And then maybe once I re-enter it, they'll be not fighting anymore. And I'll be able to snipe them with my melee weapons from behind, maybe. Let's get another red coupon, a crowbar, and some armor. Whatever, it's about a break anyway, so I might as well just get that new hat and everything. Let's not bother about like that 1% durability hat or something. Oh, more bandages, that's good. That is better than nothing, whatever, I'll take the batteries. For those who don't know, you can recycle batteries to get copper. We have gotten the iron wires, now we have to return to the settlement. But hey, before we return to the settlement, I'd like to open this up. Okay, so there's another clump of zombies. Okay, so let's see if that'll work out. Okay, so let's gather them. They'll start chasing me, obviously. And if that doesn't work, I'll just waste a bunch of stuff. Okay, so I aggroed all of those zombies. Okay, I'm losing health like crazy here. Should have gotten a Glock and dealt with those diseased wolves. So yeah, it is pretty weird. This place had three huge clumps of those zombies, which... I mean, that's probably like the worst scenario that you can get inside of the farm location. And uh, let's get those diseased wolves here right now. We gotta heal up. My weapon is going to break. Where's that diseased wolfo? Okay, we got it. And now we have just basic rotten yokels. I am curious, will they be fighting once we kill those diseased wolves? Maybe once you kill those diseased wolves with your Glock and go back there and use your melee weapons to wall trick them or sneak attack them or something. Are they still fighting there though? That is it. We broke apart those zombies. Oh no, they started fighting again. They have started fighting again. So they fight with those basic schmucks, don't they? Whatever, then let's deal with those rotten yokels. Well, at least we dealt with the diseased wolves. Now we could melee weapon these rotten yokels. But as I said, I have more pistols than healing items. So we'll use them on these rotten yokels. And then there are those two savage giants. I don't know if I'll be able to avoid them. So chances are I'll have to wall trick them and let the wall trick begin. That is it. We dealt with all of these savage giants. And I think it should be a smooth blue box opening. Oh no, more rotten yokels. Can I just avoid them? Can I just leave this place and will they despawn? Because this is a ridiculous farm, I'm telling you. This is probably one of the worst farm spawns that you can get. Sometimes there could be more raiders. Instead of two raiders, there can be, I know, six of them. So that's also possible. There's a savage giant coming somewhere. I have no idea why they do that. I didn't do anything. 
In any case, let's get that blue box and let's start bringing it. Maybe I will get a Glock in my hands just in case if somebody attacks us, at least I'll be able to defend myself quicker. That is it. Let's open up that blue box. But hey, we have dealt with most of the enemies here. Usually you don't have a bunch of those clumps of zombies and you should be able to sneak attack most of those basic zombies. That way you can save lots of melee weapons, lots of guns. And there aren't always that many diseased wolves. Sometimes there are less of those diseased wolves. Oh no. Why are they here? How do they get there? Whoa. Whoa, I have never seen that stuff before. I've never seen it be like that. Dude, what is this place? What is this? I really don't get it. How does that work? Where did they come from? What is this? I'd rather use my guns, as I said, for these right yokels than anything else. But hey, melee weapons, right? And there's a savage giant. Do we need to kill it? So we got that dude. The dude dropped us nothing again. Do we need to drink? I have no water. I have nothing. I mean, I have a little bit of carrots, so I could eat those carrots to restore some of my thirst and that is it there must be one more zombie there let's deal with it and let's start opening up the blue box and hey i'm hoping that this will be a smooth ride now still the barn door might open up but i want it to open up maybe from that barn door we'll get a chopper gas tank as i still don't have it okay let's get a glock and let's get ready now a bunch of enemies will maybe spawn maybe no we dealt with most of them already so it should be smooth sail Go and I want the door to open up. Open up! The door is random. It doesn't always open up. Sometimes it opens up, sometimes it doesn't. Oh uh, no, more of those rotten yokels, of course. Well, I'm gonna deal with them with a the Glock here. We can use a melee weapon, obviously. Sadly, I don't have any boots. Oh my goodness. More? More rotten yokels? From where? How? Where did they appear from? Unbelievable. Literally unbelievable. Whatever, we could have just used melee weapons on them. But I don't have any paints, I don't have any boots. So I want to save my healing items. Say so we just re-enter the farm location. Let's get some new perks. Let's get that. And now the goal is to gather all of these enemies. There we go. There's still a bunch of those savage giants, as you can see. So we didn't have to kill those. I am telling you, this was a horrible farm location. One of the worst farm locations. There's still a bunch of these savage giants that we are not going to kill. Imagine killing all of those guys. Like the amount of melee weapons you'd have to use is ridiculous. The saddest part is that I don't have any boots. I should have maybe went to my inbox and gotten, like, some shoes or something, but, um, whatever. Like, this might be an issue, ladies and gentlemen. This might be an issue. Okay, let's aggro those savage giants. Okay. That works. That works. And there we go. Now, let's run towards that blue box. Let's open it up. Let's get the loot. And we won't have to fight those savage giants, so... That's why I told you, like, don't kill all those savage giants. Just avoid them, as at the end, they will all spawn there anyways. We need now to open up this blue box. What do we get here? A purple slugger with thorns. Let's get here an absolutely new armor. Let's read this. I should not have done that. I should have done something else. But I need now more space. Uh, for an iron bar. Should not have done that either. We've just leveled up. You should have leveled up when you have the double experience from the trader. Well, let's rinse and repeat. Let's do it again. Let's go lower. I also obviously should have prepared that we won't have space in the inventory. And we've leveled up, so let's get this part here. So we're back at the base. Let's quickly drop the loot and then let's get back and let's open up and let's get the rest of the items from that farm. We're back at the farm and I've just realized that I haven't looted the mailbox. I think sometimes here we can get a coupon. So, nope, this time nothing. Okay, so this time we have shoes. We can open up many more things. I think I'll go for the chopper now because the barn has opened up. But again, that barn opens up randomly. I think I've already said that many times, but the barn opens up randomly. There's nothing you can do to trigger that barn. So let's up here. Let's get the loot. Go on, give me the chopper wheel. I'd like that. I would absolutely like that. Oh no, we got nothing. Should have probably taken just all... Would have been simpler. Let's get that. And the enemies are very close. And let's probably take the rest. But I think I can just lure them here. What else do I need to get there? What else is there? The caps. I want to get the caps instead of the aluminum. And that is it. There's nothing else I want to get there. There's that shirt. But you know what? I think we can take that shirt for the, the paint. There we go. Let's now leave this place. Let's open up these sacks over here. As I said, I'll open them up at the end once. All those savage giants are gone. And... What do we get here? Something. So we are back here in the settlement now. We got to talk to Connor. Oh, you got the wire. Rachel's getting better, by the way. I don't think I cared. I don't think I asked, but whatever. Let's build a wall to keep us safe from any danger. That's it. So our goal will be to finish building this 
wall, but it is expensive-ish. Yeah, we can't build a wall without iron wire. I think there was some at the farm. So yeah, we've already gotten six of those. We need to get a few more. We need another hammer and some of these other basic resources. So it shouldn't be that expensive, but we'll get it. And now let's not forget about one of the best events in the game, which is the airdrop. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna stink. I will stink. Yep, I'm stinking. It's official now, I'm stinking. Regardless, it was still worth it to come here. We've gotten a skull crusher, common planks, bolts, more transistors, and some other random things. We also have like a random pack that we can open up. So let's get it. We've gotten some paints. And now, welcome to the wrecked ship event. These zombies are pretty simple. Let's deal with them and let's get some free loot here. So that's it. We have dealt with all of the zombies. Now, let's talk to the survivor here. Give me something good. We have gotten absolutely the worst loot possible. The worst loot from this entire box. Like, I would have probably preferred to get this poppy, but we got... This one cogwheel, dude, I got scammed. So we have progress a little bit through our acts here. Now we need to start working on that wall in the settlement, but we'll start doing that in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And I highly suggest you check out my Dead Island 2 Let's Player. Click here on the second card and it'll go to my Resident Evil 4 Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.